During the weekend, there has been a simulated ceasefire that, as far as we are told, is part of most, if not all, red flag exercises. This is to give the mechanics time to work on our airplanes and for us pilots to get some adventures in Las Vegas, but you know what they say. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. I can neither confirm or deny that I lost a bunch of money on slot machines because I felt, well, you're in Vegas, you have to try it. Of course, the ceasefire also means that Red Air has received reinforcements as they would have if this was a real shooting war. Any lull in the fighting would be used to rush supplies, crews and planes to the front lines. Their stock of flankers and fulcrums have been restocked, and the same goes for their cursed double-digit anti-aircraft systems. So the opposition will be much stronger when we go back into the field. However, they are not the only ones who have been resupplied, and we will deliver the Wrath of Mjolnir to the Russians. It is very exciting to be the first pilot to deliver the bomb capsule Nitti in such a realistic exercise and show off what the weapon can do. Our mission is to use it as part of a strike on enemy airfields. First we go in against air defenses and support infrastructure, then F-16s will follow to hit their targets. That would be a very good time to get my time on target problem under control, but at least I know earlier is this time better than later. Now I'd commence programming of the K-37. Loading the coverage. Waypoint 5 is the designated target. The long mode on the K90 and release altitude will be 100 to ensure a more spread over the target area. Uh, lastly, we'll have a time on target on 1723 for waypoint 5 and the captain has begun. Pre flight uh, setup is complete, so all we have to do is hurry up and away. That was controlled off one uh, request taxi to runway. Copy notice control, runway free, right, path two. Copy that analysis control, we'll climb 300 at QFE 28.04.
Wheels up. That's one, everyone. That's one. Standing by to push. Copy that, that one pushing west. Set pod to warm up as waypoint 3 will engage active jamming. Max select. Catch up a little bit with the time on target schedule, but other than that, we are looking good. Push part to active jamming, get it, Kalla. Well, that certainly got someone's attention when we popped over the hill there. Keep your eyes open for those fighters. Dodge 2, passing port side. Springfield 4, engaging bandit at bullseye 065 for 16 at 19,000. 10,000 knots. Stay low while running in, and to keep zone 1 for now. We need to make up some time. Dodge one, running in from the east. Springfield three, Springfield one, SA ten is down. Stay low on the final approach. We're looking good on time on target. Dodge one, fence in. We'll do the pop up at about uh, 12 kilometers, release on 10. Then we'll get the hell out. Remember, we need to stay above 100 because that will be the release altitude for the ultimate. Cold 2, passing courtside. Zone 2 to make up the last time. Scale back to zone 1, we're on time. Uh, radar array, 11 o'clock. Mark it as target of opportunity for the Vipers. Right, we are a little bit ahead of time. We can uh, kill the afterburners now. We're moving in. Uh, we can use that hill uh, right ahead of us as a cover point. We'll pop up, release, then drop in behind it again. Pop up zone free and stand by for release. Dodge two, bombs away, up to the north. Dodge one, bombs away, that last ask me to do see how better. Uh, that's one, uh, fence out. Cold one, I do, Dodge Mike, Fort Ford, Springfield one, passing quartzite.
Dodge one, they're coming up a landing, runway two, one right. One will tag this parking area. I do not really know what to make of today's mission. Everything went well. We arrived on target a little bit before, but uh, considering that we had to be in front of the F-16s, that was not the issue. Nor was any issue raised by the other flights or my commander, so the time on target was satisfactory, but... I'm not really used to this entire thing of my success being dependent on how someone else does, because... We did not get much feedback on how we had performed until the briefing officer spoke about the F-16s we had cleared the path for. And it was only then we heard that Dodge Flight have completed their mission objectives. When they hit their target, and then it was simply that we had as well. Because the F-16s managed to do their attack run without any issue, without any trouble, but I don't really, I don't want to be an asshole and say that, oh, I want my contribution to be recognized, but it feels strange to judge a mission when the mission itself is so based around clearing a path for another flight, and we did well. The pop-up was exemplary, the bombs went away just as planned, they went to the release altitude, they went to the target, but at the target it doesn't seem like they actually managed to knock down any of the air defenses that were the target, which is part of the problem, but still that doesn't really matter because the F-16s that came in after, who relied on us having cleared the path for them, did not report the air defenses to be a problem. And they, rep they also said that they managed to hit their targets perfectly. And it's interesting to see, because they lost two aircraft to those air defenses. But... I don't see what we could have done differently, because... The targeting points for our BK-90s is pre-programmed. There isn't anything else we can do, but still, the mission was successful. I know Red Flag is about learning, we're here to learn. But sometimes the lesson avoids me.